Hey there, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to dive into the infamous PO302 trouble code, which means cylinder to misfire detected. If your car is shaking, running rough, or you're seeing that dreaded check engine light, don't worry. We've got you covered. Let's walk through the causes and how to fix it step by step. PO302 is a diagnostic trouble code indicating a misfire in cylinder 2. A misfire happens when the air fuel mixture in the cylinder doesn't ignite properly, which can cause rough idling, hesitation, poor fuel economy, and even damage to your engine over time. Hard starting, rough idling, sputtering while running or idling, lack of power during acceleration, stalling during a stop, decreased fuel economy. First up, a worn or fouled spark plug in cylinder 1. It's one of the most common causes of misfires. Over time, spark plugs can degrade, leading to weak or inconsistent sparks. Next, a faulty ignition coil. The ignition coil is responsible for delivering the spark to the plug. If it's bad, no spark means a misfire. A clogged or malfunctioning fuel injector can also cause cylinder 1 to misfire. If the fuel can't flow properly, the air fuel mixture will be off, causing misfires. Lastly, it could be more serious, like low compression, worn valves, or even a head gasket issue. These problems are less common but can cause misfires as well. OBD to scanner, new spark plug, ignition coil if needed, spark plug gap tool, Fuel injector cleaner or replacement. Basic hand tools. First things first, we need to confirm the PO302 code. Grab your OBD to scanner, plug it in under the dashboard, and read the code. Pop the hood and locate your engine spark plugs. You might need to remove some plastic covers to access them. Use a spark plug wrench to carefully remove the plug from cylinder number 2. Inspect the spark plug. Is it worn, cracked, or dirty? If so, it's time for a new one. Check the gap between the center electrode and the ground electrode with a spark plug. Gapping tool. If the gap is too wide or narrow, adjust it carefully using the gapping tool. If it's only lightly dirty, you can try cleaning it with a wire brush and some carb cleaner. But if it's seriously worn or damaged, it's best to just replace it with a new one. First, locate the ignition coil for the cylinder you're working on. Unplug the electrical connector and then use a socket wrench to remove the bolts. Holding the coil, gently pull it out of the engine. Now, let's check the coil. Use a multimeter to measure the resistance across the terminals. If the reading is outside the manufacturer's specifications, the coil is bad and needs replacing. If the coil looks dirty but tests fine, you can clean it up with a rag or some electrical cleaner. But if it's faulty, it's time to replace it with a new one. Once you've replaced or repaired the faulty components, clear the PO302 code using your OBD to scanner. Then, start the car and see if it runs smoothly. And that's how you fix a PO302 code. Remember, start with the simple fixes like spark plugs and ignition coils, and work your way up. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Thanks for watching, and happy driving.